alternative rocker Liz Fair has a hometown New Year's Eve show at the Metro tomorrow night. Should be quite a party. She's got a lot to celebrate. Her debut album, Exile in Guyville, was one of the most acclaimed albums of 1993. There's the album right there. Uh, Spin Magazine named her Female Rocker of the Year also. Now, I talked to Liz Fair and found out that she's got a lot to sing about. I don't know what they told you Don't even care what I'm about Would you describe yourself as a feminist rocker? I'd describe myself as a feminist person. I would describe myself as someone who's always taken for granted women's equality. And that must come out in your music. I mean, that's, that's in my soul, so that's going to come out in the music. Are there that many female rockers out of Chicago? Sure, there's a ton of female rockers out of Chicago. They just don't necessarily get the attention, or they're not as mature in their art form yet. Then again, the alternative rock scene never has been a very female-friendly place. If ever I were in Guyville, I am now. I'm digging deeper into that cesspool. It's such a male-oriented field. It's unbelievable. Your roadies, your technicians, your managers, your club owners, your driver, your hotel, yeah. you know, everybody's male. You're just, you lose your femininity really quickly on the road. And if you don't mind that, go for it. I never said nothing. You know, it's kind of weird. She's got that fresh-faced look that could make her fit right into the Brady Bunch, but I'm afraid some of the lyrics on this 26-year-old songwriter's debut album would make Greg and Marsha blush. how her own parents, both Chicago professionals, reacted when they first heard this stuff. It took me so long to tell them that I wrote this stuff. They've never really heard me play. They have yet to actually hear me go through a song and sing it. Oh, really? They really don't know. I was very, very shy about it growing up, and I wasn't forthcoming with it. And the lyrics were shocking, you know? My mother likes to say that I'm not allowed to say in the press that she was shocked or couldn't handle it. And she could handle it, but she was shocked. You know, okay. don't kid me. They sat in a room, I put it in the stereo, sat them down in the study, and I just went upstairs. <laughs> and then I came back down, and she came out, and she said, that was intense. <laughs> Intense. That's a good word for it. She's got two shows. Liz Fair tomorrow night at the Metro. Tickets are still available for the 11 p.m. show, so that may, may, might be a nice way to ring in the new year. Mm -hmm. Now, are you? Uh, hey, do you have any concerts? I got a couple of parties, but that might be kind of fun to do too. Like later, is she going to be on later? Uh, she starts at 11. I think she says 8 o'clock, but it's sold out. So yeah. there's a lot. She looks great in the interview. She needs a little more flattering picture, don't you think? Well, she's got like her mouth wide open yeah, on this shot, but she's <laughs> a great singer. Mark my words. You're yeah. going to hear from Liz Fair for a long time. She's fantastic. Yeah.